Hello everyone, we are just a small group of 24 Essex Language Ambassadors in school this year and today we're going to talk to you a little bit about what we do and of course the European Week of Languages. As Essex Language Ambassadors we have many roles around the school but our main role is helping out in S1 to S3 language classes so some of you may have seen us around in your class. Being a language ambassador is not only fun, but it's a great way to help others and it also improves your leadership skills and it looks very good on your CV or UCAS forms. My name's Sam and this year I'm studying higher business, higher Italian, language leadership and advanced higher Spanish. I wasn't very interested in languages coming up to high school. Uh, I began taking French as everyone does in first year and I was instantly surprised at how interesting I found it. In third year, I took up Spanish as something new and I haven't looked back since uh, and I find all aspects of languages really fascinating. Languages have also opened up future opportunities that I can't wait to explore, such as spending a year abroad during university. Hello, my name is Jenna and I'm currently studying higher maths, advanced higher Spanish, higher psychology and national five cake craft. I was very lucky to study French, Spanish and Mandarin in primary school and I continued learning French and Spanish in secondary school, which I really enjoyed. One of the things that I love most about languages is the fact that they allow you to communicate with so many different people from all over the world and it's really interesting to learn about different cultures. But I also love to work as a speech therapist when I leave school and bilingualism will be really important in my practice and it's really important to communicate with patients in their first language. I would also love to work as an au pair in France or Spain, so helping out in younger classes has really developed my confidence and leadership to do this. Hi everyone, my name is Molly and I'm currently studying at a German at college, advanced higher French, Spanish and higher music. I've been learning French for around seven years and German for around four weeks. I've only learned Spanish for two years, yet last year during the summer I went and appeared for a month with my aunt's family in Seville. What shows what matters isn't how long you study the language, but is how much effort you put into it. More generally, I've really enjoyed helping out in classes it's really very, made me feel like a part of the school community, which is ultimately what languages are for, connecting folks. I'm Sophie and this year I am studying Advanced Higher French and Advanced Higher Spanish. I am also taking a Modern Languages Leadership course and I'm also one of your Crichton House captains. I've been studying Spanish for three years and I've been studying French for eight years. And the thing I like most about learning languages as you learn about different cultures and it's a great way to meet new and different types of people. Being a language ambassador improves my confidence and I have loved getting to know the younger years when I've been helping in their language classes. Hi, my name's Ailish and this year I'm studying Advanced Higher French, Advanced Higher Maths, Higher Spanish and Higher Geography. One reason I enjoy learning languages is because I really like to travel and I, ha I have been lucky enough to go to Spain and also France where I went to visit my uncle who moved to a small town near Bergerac in 2018. Next summer I would love to work in Spain as a children's holiday rep which is basically someone who runs kids clubs and activities in holiday resorts before going to university to hopefully study education. So helping out in language classes is not only really good fun but also really good experience. I also enjoy learning languages because I love meeting new people. Portobello Bello High School is a very big school with lots of people from different cultures. I have a few friends who live in different countries. For example, I have a friend from Sweden who I am planning to meet next year. I have been learning Swedish and Duolingo, which I have been enjoying so far. However, it is very different to any language that I've learned before. Hi, my name is Jack. This year I'm studying Advanced Higher Biology, Advanced Higher Spanish, which I've been taking for three years now, uh, Higher Chemistry, and I'm doing a language leadership course. Uh, I think languages are a very vital skill in life because they don't only broaden your communication to other people, but they broaden your understanding of your own language. Uh, next year I plan to go to university and study Spanish along with politics and begin a level Mandarin to add another language to my repertoire. So we hope you have been and will continue to take part in European Languages Languages. I know it's been a bit disruptive this week, but we hope you have um, completed the language quiz in, on Monday in Kiado and um, you've completed the task on and you will be able to complete the task on the mast reader too with a bit of a language twist. During the rest of the week you will have experienced some other bits and pieces of language learning that is a bit different to what you normally have in your French and Spanish classes uh, but this might be next week. Next week. Now it's obvious that one thing we look at in European Week of Languages is the actual study of languages but what we wanted to point out today is the fact that it is so much more than just that. 
What European Food Challenge allows us to do is embrace and celebrate cultural diversity, something that's hugely important in our schools. We have a really rich multicultural society. Lucky enough here at Forty to have at least 40 languages being spoken by staff, pupils, families in our school. Looking slightly further outside our own Forty community, almost a quarter of Edinburgh population speak a different language to English at home. Then even further afield, there are, are 150 different languages spoken in Scotland as a whole, showing that we are a really diverse country and we think this should be celebrated. With the aim of embracing and celebrating cultural diversity, we hope you've enjoyed taking part in activities such as our quiz this week. And we hope you've been inspired to continue to immerse yourselves and benefit from languages even after this week is over. Think about other ways that you can learn languages through TV, film, music, or any other language learning apps that we have access to. Anything that can broaden your understanding for other people, unlike yourself, is what this week is all about. Thank you for listening.